Hi, we're the Ohio guys here at OhioCon in Columbus, Ohio. Today we have Kirby Moreau with us. How are you doing, Kirby? We're in Ohio? Apparently. Oh, I drank a lot <laughs> last night. Oh, hi guys. I'm doing great. Yeah, doing really well. And you? We're doing fantastic. Yes. Having fun at the convention so far? I love this convention. It's having so much fun. Yes. Awesome. Ohio rocks, man. <laughs> Woo! Um, just got a few questions for you today. Um, first one. <laughs> What's it like working in the industry today? Well, um, as you know, your success is all dependent on who you sleep with. So um, I'm, I'm doing very well. Um, no, I, um, I have uh, been having a really good uh, couple years um, on camera and, and in voice. And um, it's been, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've got uh, the number one show on Teletoon, which is uh, Lego Ninjago. And I play 14-year-old Cole. He's the leader of the Ninja Warriors. It's totally cool. And uh, doing Lego Star Wars, playing Anakin Skywalker and General Grievous. Um, and um, yeah, there's a few other bits and pieces here and there. Awesome. Um, some people it's like p saying it's like picking their favorite child, but if you had a favorite role that you've done before, what would that be? Um, I actually loved doing um, Von Fennell from Vision of Escaflone. Um, little guy named Goku from Dragon Ball Z, Kamehameha, and uh, yeah, those were kind of my two top animes. Awesome. Uh, speaking of Escaflone, what's it like working on that one? Uh, that was fantastic. It was like I was the Prince of Finalia and I could fly, and I got the girl. Oh, nailed it. Yeah. So it was. Uh, it was. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I really liked the storylines on that one. So it was pretty. Hey, and doing doing stuff over here. Ohio people, jeez. <laughs> They're out of control. Yeah. <laughs> um, a little bit older series, or actually pretty old at this point, Gundam Wing. What was it like working on that? That was my first anime ever, uh, and it was it was really cool uh, until I got blown into space for 17 episodes. <laughs> I'm like, come on, where am I? And then I came back, and I had the coolest hair. It was, uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, Troa was this brooding kind of... You know, the pilot with no name. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good learning experience and, uh, and a fun show to work on. So, yeah. Awesome. Um, Inuasha, what was it like working on that one? Oh, that one was grueling. Richard Cox, we all know, is a terrible human being. He's just mean, and he, he sits there and he watches, and he smacks you if you don't do a good job. <laughs> it's, it's, that guy is, no, it's fantastic. Such a, I knew, by that time I'd been in the, business for about eight years and I got to know all the voice actors really well and uh, we, we work really well together. Fortunately we don't get to work in the booth together when you do um, anime uh, but we do when we do pre shows so we got to know each other well that way um, and to see the final product I was really impressed with it and I got to play a lecherous monk who grabbed girls bums. <laughs> win, win, win. Can't go wrong with that. Yep. <laughs> uh, Death Note, what was it like working on that? It's fun to play the bad guy. Delete. Um, <laughs> it's I usually play the good guy. I'm always the hero or the leader. Or something. I uh, guess it's got something to do with my voice. But uh, to play to play Mikami was uh, Mikami was really good. Uh, I had a lot of fun with that. And I remember my death scene where they're like, "Okay, this long steel bar is gonna go through your throat. So we want to hear the gurgling of blood as you're dying." <laughs> and ah! <laughs> that was a fun day at work. It's like all your frustrations in the day. You just go into a booth and. Ah! <laughs> and then you drive home like, I had a good day at work. <laughs> Sounds like a fantastic time. <laughs> um, if you could pick any character that you've voiced before, or live action, uh, that you could be, which one would it be? Or you can mix and match. Um, that I have personally done? Yes. I always wanted to be Spider-Man, but I never played Spider-Man. Um, um, let's see. Cyclops was kind of cool. Michelangelo was on. I'd be Michelangelo. No, wait, he lives in a sewer. <laughs> oh, dude, living in a sewer. Um, but I guess that would you know, kind of hinder the dating life. Well, then never know. He was the cool one. So, yeah, Michelangelo. <laughs> oh, dude, I love being a turtle on the internet. Where else can a hot blooded mammal meet a cold blooded babe? Said that backwards. Where else can a cold blooded mammal meet a hot blooded babe? It's all about fixing your comedy. <laughs> Excellent choice. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was it like voicing Tony Stark? Um, that one was interesting because I didn't have a lot of lines. Mm -hmm. um, um, and the, the most trying thing was there was one, a ping pong match. Have you seen it? 
I personally haven't. Okay, there's a ping pong match, so it's a lot of, <laughs> just like Tony Stark would do it. And so, yeah, um, it was, uh, I remember it was quite funny because I had to do that for quite a while. And it was getting very tiring. But I do, um, uh, I do love the fact that I can put an Iron Man toy on my, on my shelf of toys that, uh, you know, my little trophies of, of shows that I've done. Oh, that definitely has to be one of the best parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Gundam Seed Destiny, another Gundam series. What was it like working on that one? Oh, that's where I was Reza Burrell, I believe. Ray, Gundam Seed Destiny, yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, well, I got to play a blonde, and everybody knows blondes have more fun. So uh, that, was, <laughs> that was awesome. Um, I don't remember the series a lot. That one was a while ago. Mm-hmm. Um, um, but I did remember the name, so I'm very proud of myself. Winning. Okay. <laughs> nice. Um, is there anything coming out in the next couple months or so that you can talk about or want to put a plug in for? There's a couple things that I'm not allowed to talk about, uh, but um, there's a live action thing uh, called Legion. Um, okay. I, uh, I think the, I've heard of Legion, it. Legion, yes. It's, um, uh, it's like a pre X Men kind of, like X Men Legion kind of thing. You, you know. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, so uh, I'm in uh, a few episodes of that. I'm a surprise character. So, it'll awesome. Be, it'll be interesting to see. We'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. And then for the fans, if they want to get a hold of you on social media, do you have a Facebook or Twitter or any way? I currently still use Carrier Pigeon. So if you want to uh, just <laughs> tie a note. Um, I like it in calligraphy. So if you could just put some work into it uh, and send off a pigeon. Or a dove. I like doves too. Um, I'm on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can find me under Kirby Morrill. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hit me up and I'll hit you back. Then, then we'll fight. <laughs> well, it's been awesome having you. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. All right, thanks for talking to me. We're the Ohio guys. He's Kirby. I've been Kirby. Thanks, Ohio. We'll see you next time. <laughs>